this is Ashley welcome back to my channel so today I have a fun video where I am comparing interstellar icons from the celestial divinity holiday 2020 collection which is the quad versus dark star subliminal palette which was the 2018 holiday palette which is a six pan but First, my name is Ashley and welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, welcome. But if you're an oldie but goodie, welcome on back. My name is Ashley and I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. And that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. I know, real original, right? But please just call me Ash or Ashley and I just love eyeshadows and Pat McGrath eyeshadows are really my jam. So I did a video where you will see now it's been posted where I did a small review doing Interstellar Icons, the quad that just released with the Celestial Divinity Collection. So, you know, this is the quad that has the blue in there. And then I was talking to some of you all and I was thinking to myself and I was like, girl, wait a minute, now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I mentioned this palette in the review and I was like, wait. The blue shade in here is named Interstellar. And now we have the quad, which is Interstellar Icons. So clearly some of the inspiration from Mother Pat was probably off of the Dark Star palette in the shade Interstellar. Now this particular palette is no longer available. This was her 2018 holiday release. It released with three other palettes and it was a six pan. But the quad is available and I just kind of wanted to do a look where we compared the two. So do you need both if you already own Dark Star like I do? So can you even guess which eye I have which palette on? But you'll find out shortly. So I just thought this would be a fun way to compare. Maybe you're trying to figure out if you really need to pick up Interstellar Icons, especially if you already own Dark Star, not to mention the uh, Sephora VIB sale is coming up very soon. And this is available on the Sephora website. And, you know, maybe just to give you a third look, because I usually do three looks when I present an eyeshadow palette. And... You know, I, I just thought it would be fun. So let's go ahead and jump in. So we're going to jump in with a few swatches. I'm going to do the demo and then we'll talk about the final thoughts on the end, whether you need both or they a dupe. All right. So for the swatches, we're only going to focus on three of the shades because that is what's comparable in the Dark Star palette. Okay. So the three shades we're going to focus on are Golden Polaris, Hypnotic, and Blue Blood. So we're gonna first, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Hypnotic. And I'm gonna swatch it right here. And I'm gonna leave some space. So this is Hypnotic from the Interstellar Icons. Next so up we have Golden Polaris from Interstellar Icons. Last but not least, we have Blue Blood from Interstellar Icons. So these are the shades from Interstellar Icons. Now we have our Dark Star palette. First up, we have the shade Interstellar, and we're going to place it right here next to Hypnotic. Next up, we have the shade Entice, and I'm going to place it right here next to Golden Polaris. Last but not least, we have the shade Metropolis. And I do mention this in the tutorial, all of these shades are the same finish. So we are comparing similar formulas and similar shades. So eyebrows are filled in using my Ghost Proof Pencil, shade 3.75 as normal. And then I do have my eyelids primed using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Cafe. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do interstellar icons on this eye. So this is Interstellar Icons. And then we have the Dark Star Palette. This is the Dark Star Subliminal Palette. This is from the Holiday Collection of 2018. Yeah, 2018, okay. So I will just like clean my brushes off as I use the shades, which should be sufficient. So jumping in, rougher number 16 brush, I'm going to pick up the shade Blue Blood from the Interstellar Icons palette. And I'm gonna do the same look. I'm gonna do the same look on both eyes because I do think we can achieve that with pretty much with these colors. And we'll see. 
So I'm just gonna blend this back and forth. And yeah, of course, I get smoky, smoky, smoky <laughs> right off the bat. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend and you know, blend <laughs> and blend a little bit more <laughs> pretty much. And I'm gonna kind of bring some of that down and some of it into the outer corner. You know, one way to, you know, just tackle a project <laughs> really fast. Just put a lot on your brush. And the thing is, like, this brush just kind of picked up product very quickly. I didn't even have to um, dip too much. Now <laughs> that <laughs> I have plenty of shadow on my lid, <laughs> I'm just wiping off my brush. So brush is wiped off. And that makeup towel going to go in with the shade Metropolis so this is Metropolis she's just a tiny bit deeper than blue blood and it's the same formula so it makes this comparison really easy and because I loaded up the brush on that side I just loaded up the brush on this side all right so now we're going to blend <laughs> and blend and blend I really didn't mean to pick up that much on the other side, but you know, you know, things happen. So I'm just gonna kind of pull that down. And blend. And I'm still blending, because you know, <laughs> And I'm going to work some of that into this outer corner. All right, so <laughs> I look a tiny bit crazy. So we're going to fix that in a moment, but we're going to keep pressing on. I think I picked up just a tiny bit too much on this side because I picked up so much on this side, but it, it'll be okay. So as you can see, Metropolis is definitely deeper than Blue Bud. And Blue Blood definitely has more of that burgundy shade where this is more of a blackened burgundy shade. Sonya G Builder Pro jumping in with Interstellar Icons. I'm going to pick up the shade Hypnotic right here and I'm just going to load the brush up. I'm going to start patting this shade all over the lid. So this look is actually different from the other two looks that I have done. I'm just going to lay it down and then I will intensify it by probably using some setting spray to give us Let's see, I'm going to use my finger, yeah. Yep. That way we can get more pigment down faster and pick up more of the actual blue color. Now I have my brush loaded up a little bit more. I'm going to go in Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Give that brush a good spritz and just build up the intensity of the blue and have it meet in the crease. And then that is looking pretty. And I'm just kind of smoothing out the edge right here so it's fused and kind of emulating a cut crease, even though we did not cut the crease. And I have a little bit of fallout because I did kind of load the brush up. So same Builder Pro. You see I cleaned it off really well. Going to pick up Deep uh, Dark Star rather. And we're going to go in with the shade Interstellar, which is like the namesake of the quad. And I'm going to do the same technique. Load that brush up. And then just go ahead and start placing it on. Now this shade does appear that it has a little bit more base pigment but I will do the same thing on each eye so we can get the same full effect I'm just laying that all over the eye we're going to mobile it and as you can see this is definitely looking a lot more deeper and sultry versus this one it has a little bit more light airiness into to it And because I went in with my finger with the last one, I'm going to go in with my finger with this one. Mm 
And then I'm just going to load up that brush. Same Urban Decay, or all nice that is correct. And just place it on the eye and then go back here and fuse these two colors like to emulate that we did a cut crease. Alright, so we can definitely see that Dark Star is it's dark. <laughs> it is definitely deep dark. All right, going in with my flat definer brush by Sonya G, I'm going to go in with Interstellar Icons, and I'm going to go in with Golden Polaris, which is the shade right here. It's going to pop that in the inner corner. Brush cleaned off with the palette Dark Star, we're going to go in with Entice, because it is the champagne shade here. Everything I compared here is really the same formula, so it's not so much apples and oranges. <laughs> All right, so we're basically pretty much done. Um, I can't let this look go unblended. <laughs> so, Sonya G, Belinda Pro, we're going to start with this Dark Star side because it's, I got to look patchy as I don't know what because, yeah, I just didn't finish blending. You know, I don't like having <laughs> incomplete looks, even if it's going to be a little different or different eyes. I'm like, look now, we, we just can't. It's a, it's a level, <laughs> it's a certain level standard I'm presenting over here. Okay. So that looks a billion times better. And I just wiped the brush off. Let's see what's looking like over here. This side is actually looking better. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead, do the rest of my makeup, put on some lashes, and then we'll compare the two looks. All right, I am back, and this is the final look, like I just showed you a little bit earlier. And I added on my lashes. They are the Kiss Ritzy Lashes, and I will leave the rest of my face details down in the description box. So, let's talk about the two palettes, okay? So, Dark Star and Interstellar Icons. So, get basically the same look. <laughs> You know, with these three shades. Okay, so let's just keep in mind that we don't have a shade like Divine Dahlia in the Dark Star palette. And so I feel that with Interstellar Icons, you can get some pretty neutral looks. Like I have just worn this shade, which is Divine Dahlia, and um, Golden Polaris and Blue... Uh, why do I'm calling it Blue Moon all of a sudden? Blue Blood together. And you can get a really neutral look. But if you are interested in this particular quad strictly for the blue shade and you have Dark Star, I'm just talking about and you have Dark Star, I don't think you need Interstellar Icons, to be honest. If you're just interested in it for those couple shades, where those three shades and you don't really care about Divine Dahlia, even though I really love that shade, I don't feel like you need to have this one if you're just looking for a way to save some money or talk your way down. Now, if you are truly a collector, I would say you can get both. I think you can get some very versatile looks out of the Interstellar Icons that you cannot get with Dark Star. I think Dark Star, you can get a couple other looks. Like I've done a look on my channel already using the gray and the crease with the gold and maybe a little bit of Metropolis, I believe. But this palette pulls pretty deep. Where this one, you can kind of get a few lighter looks that are really more neutral and base. Where this one is just, it's deep. That's where it's going. Deep space is gray matte. It's very dark. Like, you can lighten it up, but it's very deep. The gold, of course, you have that shade. It's a very rough. Uh, yellow melony gold so I do like that gold and entice the champagne is really nice and I feel like overall this is a great color scene so like I said if you have this particular palette and you were really just interested in this particular shade and maybe uh, blue blood but if you have decadence you already have blue blood if you have one of the many eye ecstasy kits you have blue blood I want to say it was in the subversive palette so I don't feel like you need to get both because that you can dupe the look. Now, I, I mean, let's be honest, okay? So this blue from uh, the Dark Star palette is definitely deeper. You see more of that purple tone, where this one is a little bit lighter. This is the one from Interstellar Icons. It's a little bit more sparkly. It has like that soft purple dual chrome flip, 
but you don't have so much base shadow as you have in interstellar icons so interstellar icons definitely has more of a base to it so you get more pigment faster versus the shade interstellar icons um i also like this particular golden uh can't think of any golden polaris i actually like this shade better than the entire shade because it's a little bit more warmer has a little bit more rosiness to it and i feel like it's a little bit more of a brilliant shade than entice now overall i feel like both of the looks look pretty great except for like if it's just your preference if you like the lighter blue versus the deeper blue i think i really actually prefer the deeper blue to be quite honest i love the shade blue blood but i do have it a couple times in my collection but if like i said we're just talking strictly from the point that you own dark star and you're looking to pick up interstellar icons now if you do not own dark star I think that this is a fabulous buy because this particular palette is not available at the moment. It was a limited edition uh, palette and it is actually sold out. Just double check and this palette is in fact sold out on Pat McGrath Labs and in Sephora. Overall, I feel like both of the palettes are really stunning. You can get some really different looks by using both. I, I feel like good 70% of both of them are dupes, especially when you come to this, it's actually like three-fourths of the quad can be duped by Dark Star. But then when you add in the Divine Dahlia shade, it just brings another element in where, like I said before, you could just make it really neutral. Then again, you have six shades here, right here. So 50% of this quad is duped with this one. And you, um, like I said, with the black, the deep space, and then you have this shade called... Um, in Trapper, which is this bright gold, you do have a different flair here. So, like I said, if you're just looking for to save some money, if you find out it's really worth it, especially if you have the Dark Star, I feel like you can live without this one if you're just really wondering, do I need both? But, you know me, I'm a huge Pat McGrath fan, but I can see, like, the differences between certain things, and I don't feel like I need to have everything, even though I have a good majority of a lot of things of her... Um, in her collection. I do enjoy having this because like that Divine Dahlia shade is amazing and I have been wearing that. And like I said, that's, that's a shade that you can kind of throw on to go to work with this particular Golden Polaris and that you have a super neutral look. So with that being said, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below of the demo and just give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And with that being said, you you already know what time it is. It's time for the chance. A a a a a. All right, y'all. <laughs> Bye.